here too and you'll see her in just a minute and I've got every, oh, there's her hand. I've got things together, or Katie and I have things together for different methods of bleaching flannels. So we're gonna try to show you a little bit of everything here. Ooh, those are huge. They are. These big old gloves. <laughs> this is what we have. So use whatever gloves you have because the gloves are important because normally I don't even allow bleach in my house. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing playing in this stuff. That's what we got going on. We have supposed to be a 50-50 mix of bleach and water here, and I felt like that was, and we went with El Cheapo Walmart bleach, and I felt like that was too strong. So it's probably around, probably a 40-60. Yeah, probably around a 40-60, 60-40 of water and bleach. And this one was supposed to be just plain water, and uh, candy red where and I double checked it this time too <laughs> that uh, <laughs> that peroxide will what do you call it it'll like, neutralize, neutralize or ne stop the bleaching process stop the bleaching process so we got added some peroxide to our water here and then under the table somewhere we have a clothes basket so when things get too full around here at the top we'll lean that there and we actually have the washing machine already filling up with water so that whenever we do put it in there, you know, it's still going to have a lot of bleach on it and we don't want to bleach all over the whole rest of the shirts. So we're going to do, you know, kind of what we can to deactivate that. I have a whole bunch of stencils and like the Prima stencils and things like that here that we're going to use on the back of the shirts. And I have an old, this is a Mr. Model from Jane Iredale uh, that I get with makeup and it's mixed with a 50-50 bleach solution and I wanted to show y'all two different ways so I'm hoping that you can see this well. This is um, another one of my uh, shirts actually and I cut this out. It says country living with a chicken on top. That's, uh, I cut that out with my silhouette and I've got something in there. Uh, oh, a tray. I've got a tray inside there to kind of keep the bleach from going through and I've got a piece of cardboard inside this other one and on it if you've been around me very long you know my favorite stencil we're gonna do that uh, as well and my intentions were to have some big thick painters tape to go around the edges to hold this stencil down because it's going to be important that it stay down a good bit to keep the bleach from going through but I'm going to show you real quick what I'm going to do on this part because it's sort of in three phases. We're going to mist it and let it dry a little bit, mist it, dry a little bit, and do that three different times to try to um, get plenty of it on there. And Candy's helping me even that out a little bit to, and I'm trying to mash these letters down, to get this to, to show and then it'll be a little bit different on the other shirts. We're, we have how many do we have? About 30? Yeah, I think it, it was, yeah, about 30. We've got like 30 shirts total, and I think I had out nine different stencils, plus my one with this, so we're gonna oh, do- I think it might have been 20 shirts. Oh, it might have been 20, because yeah, we were like half and half. Yeah, okay. So, a lot of these shirts I got at Goodwill, and some of them, these are the ones you get at Walmart, they're $8 and something. There is a difference, and I'll let Candy tell you on this, because she knows more than me, about uh, fabrics and what's the ideal fabric because all flannel isn't flannel. And I actually bought one that's 100% wool and we're not sure if anything will happen to that, but we're gonna try it because we have it here. So what I'm gonna do here is just mist the bleach water all around my letters, trying to get it everywhere. Coming onto this shirt. Oh, um, and okay? she says it's coming onto that shirt. And, and that is okay because I'm fixing to do that one next. I can already see that lightening up a little bit. And then this one I'm gonna, you can still see it. it would be better if this was taped down, but there's a lot of traffic outside and, and I thought I had tape, but I didn't. So here we go. I'm gonna try to just mist mostly inside of here. And the reason I'm not wanting to do too much at a time is it would be really easy for it to oversaturate and then, you know, absorb into the 
fabric around it. So look, at this one's lightening up already. Look, it may only take a couple of times on that. So Candy's gonna do the dipping process on this, these. This is my first time, so. <laughs> this is her Bear first with time. Me. Okay, so this one, this one is probably, I'm gonna double check, but it should be 100% cotton. And from my research, because I've been doing a lot of research on it, um, cotton fibers bleach. Um, to where I know like polyester doesn't bleach. Um, because I've been looking a lot into the uh, sublimation printing, which is uh, like a uh, ink dye that goes, but it only absorbs into uh, polyester fibers. And I know that like the bleach t-shirts and stuff are really in right now. So I'm gonna, while she's working on that, I'm gonna attempt to do this and hopefully not mess it up. <laughs> but I don't think that you can really mess it up too much because it's an art in its own, so. Yeah, anything that, that comes out, however they come out on the shirt, nobody knows it wasn't supposed to be that way, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Okay, Have a good time. So I'm going to keep this hand uh, free out of the bleach so that uh, I don't, like, leave handprints and stuff on the parts that I don't want to bleach. And I'm probably going to bleach this one about halfway up, so I'm probably going to go about to this line right here. Are you doing the sleeves too, like I did and on this? I probably Sometimes yeah. yes and sometimes Let's no. Let's see. Yep. Let's see. I'm going to hold it up like this. Y'all just bear with me. Like I said, I don't really know exactly what I'm doing, but we're going to learn together. Okay, so I'm just going to dip it in. Kind of push it in here. Kind of wanting to float on top. From the last ones that I did, they started... Some of, some colors started turning immediately, and others took a little while. And some of the ones that took a little while, until I was sort of um, wringing them out in there, and the color came out with the ring, it looked like nothing was happening, when in reality, there was stuff happening. And I'm going to move this around just a little bit, just to make sure that the bleach is getting all over all the layers here. And you want me to just... Like, oops. Whoopsie. <laughs> yeah, if it needs to stay in longer, yeah, if it's if not, it's really not bleaching fast, then just leave it and get the next one. Alright, so I've got that one started, and I'm going to go ahead and grab another one, and I'm going to start it too. And some colors and some fabrics do faster than others, so we'll just have to see from there. This feels like I'm going to put another coat of mist on this. Well, I'm going to let her do that one first. And then I'm going to put another coat of mist on these. Okay, this is another one of the Walmart ones, 872. I forgot to pull the tag off. And I think, I think I'll do, I don't know what yet. <laughs> the Should bottom the top. That you're yeah, in. I need that. Is this cloth, can I use that? Yeah, you can use it. I, I wiped up bleach with it earlier. Okay. <laughs> And you can do these. I really like the way they look whenever you bleach up to just at what would be under the um, breast line. But sometimes it looks good to just do the bottom third and then do the top yeah. third or do the left half do. and the bottom and do it at an angle. We try to vary them up a little bit. I'm going to try to do, like she was just saying, the, um, the top and bottom third. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to dip it in and kind of push it down. And see, they normally would, you think, would have been bleaching already on this first one. This is taking a little longer. It so is. this it may, that right was the here. one she said that was 100% cotton. So obviously the 100% cotton doesn't bleach as fast as some of the others. And I did buy a t-shirt that I was trying the, the spray bleach method with um, that barely changed at all. And it was, uh, you know, it had cotton in, content in it. And they say some of them just do not bleach. So... trial and error. I'm going to mist on another. I'm going to go mostly just around the letters this time. 
and not try to go out as far around the edges on this one. So it'll be really the lightness concentrated around the letters. And you can see it is starting to bleach. Part of it is starting to bleach here. Oh yeah. The part you that's left out, so that was actually out of the that's water. That's crazy. And yeah. I know that sometimes I've read that um, like sunlight helps to speed up the process, so I'm wondering if that's the heat aspect of it. Maybe so, yeah. If but we if were... you want, I can tell that's going even more now, it probably is. just from you holding it out. If yeah. you want to wring that one out, I mean, it doesn't have to be completely light bleached. I can see a lot more from this side. You got to be careful not to splash it onto the other one when you have more than one in there. And you can definitely see the color of the water changing too. And make sure and protect the clothes that you have on <laughs> yeah. or uh, wear old clothes. Do you want to hang that one on the basket and let air yeah, get through it a little bit we'll before do. we, um, before we'll see. we where it's starting to change and that that's the part that was kind of sitting out of the leach water so we're going to see what happens whenever we just kind of hang it over the basket and let the air get yep. to it so we won't be rinsing this one yet give it a little while longer and this one's definitely changing here oh yeah this is changing as the air is hitting it same concept here with it uh you know maybe we should have used warm water in here well, I didn't use warm water on the first ones that I did. I don't think. Okay, I'm going to dip this side, the top half here now. I'll let that hang out. One thing that I did as well with dipping some of the first batch that I did, which are almost all sold out, is sort of an ombre as well. Say, so leave this top third in for five minutes or something like that then scoot it down another third of the way for another five minutes to where the top part yep. would have then been in ten and this part five and it goes you know sort of ombre affects it a little bit oh yeah it's definitely that one over there is changing a lot let's see if I can pull that over oh yeah can y'all see that I can see the yeah. line there where it's lightest. I love that. That's cool. I'll work on this if you want to show them your progress. Or uh, you... Yeah, you can tell where this one now, where I used a spray around it, it should be when it's done, for the most part, when I pull the letters off, they'll still be dark, and that may be light enough. And then we'll bleach from the bottom down on that. I wanna, I'm going to grab a rag. Is the bleach sinks in on the fabric and it stays on top of the bottom. Now well, she's going to do that. I'm going to hang this one over the side as well. You can see the progress here. And there's no specific rules to how you do it. That's the fun part of it. Just let it be what it's going to be. I think I'll try like she did and do an ombre. So I'll let a little bit soak and then uh, I'm going to use a little rag, a little cut up t-shirt piece and dab the excess bleach off of these letters before I peel them off. I don't even think I'm going to do a third bleaching. Let this part soak for just a minute or two. And I'm going to go ahead and change my glove here just because I don't want to chance any of it get the hole or anything in there because I really don't want to get bleach on my hands. Okay, can you see? Yep. Let's see what's going to happen now. Ta da! There's my chicken. How I could probably that? reuse that. Yep, I bet you could. The letters will never be straight. <laughs> uh -oh. 
this is like, like the one I have on that has the big WB on it. And my husband's from West Virginia, which is why I have that on. My BFF just left, and she's like, why, does it, why don't you have one with LSU on it? <laughs> so, which is, we're here in Louisiana, this is where I'm from, and I did intend on making myself an LSU one today, but um, I forgot my silhouette out in the car, and it's cold outside. And I'm going to go ahead, while she's doing that, I'm going to put this down just a little bit further. Let that soak for just a minute. Okay, that's cute, huh? Country living. My chickens would be proud of their mom having this shirt. I'm gonna hang this on the back of the chair over here for a minute. So let that bleach continue to dry, and let's pull up this and see whether this worked or not. Well, let's let me get the bleach off first. I did, when I was in there looking for these rags, I found the, who cute, I found the tape, so I may tape down the next one. All right, so I'm gonna get it in about three, ooh, look at all the color coming out of that one. I'll pull up and see how much the, you've got some comments up there. Oh, and I can't see the comments right now, y'all, so. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Kristen. And here's how. Isn't that cute? And then we'll still bleach the rest of this. And that was just laying a stencil on it and lightly bleaching. All right, so we shall see how the ombre effect works for the method that I just tried. <laughs> and I'll show you the progress that we've made on this one. I would go ahead and start that one in the rinse water, I see. think. We're gonna go ahead and start it. Can y'all see it? You see the difference there? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just drop it in here, rinse the whole thing. Or uh, just the top, I would do the from part. just the bleached part okay. first, for sure. that y'all use a, a well-ventilated area. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you could do this outside, that would be ideal, but you can't today because yep. it's cold and we're in Louisiana and we're not used to this kind of temperature. <laughs> and I got a little bit of water in my gloves, so I'm changing it again. It would be ideal to have fitted gloves, but we don't have any, so, right now. I have a deer stencil that I'm going to put on the back of the red and black, what's it called, buffalo? Yeah, buffalo plaid. Buffalo plaid. And I'm using the lines of the plaid. Let's hope that whoever the seamstress was did a good job of making sure all that was centered because I'm going to use the lines of the plaid to center my piece. Okay, let's look at this one. This is the one that I did the top and then the bottom. Can y'all see that? Oh, that's cute. That's going to be really cute. I hope I went up high enough. I'm going to go ahead. Oops. You put it back in if you feel like well, it. Well, I done accidentally oh. stuck it in. There. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. Then we'll check the ombre after I get this one. head taped on and I'm going to lightly mist it with my spray bottle that's 
50-50 bleach and water. You're going to try to tuck the excess pieces and all that under so that I don't, I hope I'm not blocking them too much here, bleach any of the areas that I don't intend on bleaching. And the tape, other than to hold this down, is to protect a little bit from the overspray so I don't end up with a square around the outer edge. And that's just a light mist and I can see it already bleaching. I'm going to move that one over and and grab another, grab another gear. All right, I'm going to check my ombre, see where it's at right now, or if I want it to sit a little longer. Should I dip it a little bit deeper? I would. I would go to just below the pocket. I thought I did. Oh, that's <laughs> going to be pretty too. That's yes. LSU color. Yeah, I know. I was thinking that when I had an LSU to go on there. Yeah. So I'm going to go a little bit deeper now after it sat for a little while. So that's going to help it give a little more of that ombre effect. I hope. Should I let it soak or should I pull it out now and let it do what it's going to do since I'm trying to do a little more? Is that deep enough? You probably pull it out. No, I think that's good. All right, so I'm going to play with it and see what happens. I'm going to pull it out. Let's see if I want So you can find what technique that you really like and stick with it and make all of yours just alike. Or you can do like we're doing and make every one a little bit different and just have a good time with it. Oh yeah, I love the colors that it's turning, that purple and oh, yeah. gold in there. That's going to be cool. I'm going to work on some of these after we wash them and everything and get them going. Some of these I'm going to go back on with some DIY paint that I'm going to heat set and that may be one of them. I, I may paint that LSU on there. That's it for a few minutes. All right. Anybody want to recommend uh, what to do on the next one? Any ideas on pattern for me to bleach? I'm grabbing this is one of the stencils from Prima that's like a, a concrete paver stencil it's good and thick it'll be another cool i love those kind of designs so i've got it looks like i have two grays gray and blacks over here left and then i have a green with an orange and a little bit of whitish gray mixed in i think that's orange i like when you do like an angle and get like the top part of one sleeve and the collar and then like get the other the like the cup and the hem going higher on the other side you know what I'm saying to where it's sort of sort of like I did that one there but I just did the top and the bottom but if should it was it at buttoned? an angle do that? huh should it be buttoned um either way it, I don't think it matters you want to um I don't know how well I'm going to be able to angle it Oh, well then don't do that if you don't if you don't feel comfortable with it. I used, on some of those, I used pipe cleaners to go ahead and gather the fabric up how I wanted it to where it was then easy to... My fingers done oh, that's okay. it in some areas. Everything's okay. Some people grab some of their bleach water afterwards and just splat it on there just to give it some more bleach effects. I intended on finding all kinds of cute sayings to go on the back of these and doing all that with the silhouette and it's just not my strong point cutting out stuff and weeding it so I, I thought of the stencils oops 
I'm going to put my second coat of bleach on the deer here. Looks like it's okay. almost turning a green color. Which is cool. I really like this one. This isn't a traditional flannel look. This one will probably be mine. It's just a small tan and brown check. I should put a cow on the back of mine. That one would be cute on that one. What would? The cow would be the cute cow on would the back be of that cute. one. But I like these Florida de leaves too. love the way that this one's turning out. I didn't have as much of a grasp on it as I had hoped. Okay. Probably be my favorite when it dries. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like this one's going to end up with some purple and I've got some Florida de Lis, so now I'm going to change my mind and put some Florida de Lis on this. And I'm just going to put a piece of this plastic in between it as my underneath thing so the bleach doesn't go through. Doesn't matter what you put in there, as long as you put something in there. Alright, after this one, I'm fixing to check the, uh, the ombre that we did. not even my size is that I would keep that one too. Purple's my favorite color. This is a Florida lace stencil from Wood Icing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it in the water okay. and rinse it. This is a Florida lace stencil from Wood Icing. It's got a bunch of teeny tiny ones, so I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to tape it on on here. This one. <laughs> that one just kind of came out crazy. Cray cray. a larger floor to lead that I'm going to use on the the front kind of like a pocket on that other one Another filigree one. This one's. I don't even know what it's called. This one is a door stencil. Right. There you go. That's 
that's what I'm going to put on this brown one that I like so much. Spray that one again and get it on a, a flat smooth. surface. Yeah, yeah I will. Coming, coming off on those bones. So what I'm doing on this one, I'm going to try the ombre again. But what I did is I put it in the bleach for just a second and got it wet. I pulled it out. I'm going to let it sit for just a second and then I'm going to do it in again. I'm using the tag inside the collar to know what my center here and then the top part of the yoke of the shirt to keep it straight there. Take them better, you'll have a yeah, they cut out the words Prima Designs in this stencil, so I definitely have to take over that. And you can take over any other area of the stencil if I only wanted part of that to show, I could take over the other part. It is smelling bleachy in here right now, y'all. Just as an FYI. I think we're good on that top one. I think we're good on that deer. This one needs another coat, but I have to make it flat again first. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that one a lot. Look, y'all. How cool is that? That's cool. That would look good whether the bottom was bleached or not, but we're in the bleaching business today, so we're going to bleach them. laying a towel over these and pressing down to absorb the bleach that's landing on top of the stencil before I pick it up. That turned that's out cool. cute. Shirts. I know. <laughs> this one will be pretty. Put something done to it. Yeah, you want to do. 
do one. Um, But that's a thinner feeling fabric on that one, so we'll have to see how that one does. At this point, I'm going to flip over the four to leave so that I can get the So that's just very, very faint on there, which I think is fabulous. Everything doesn't have to be in your face. Let me see. Let me see. Yep. Very subtle. But then we're going to have the bigger one here on the front. I just had it in my hand while I do it. There it is. Oh, that's going to look really cute. This is painter's tape. This is the yellow one is for like recently painted areas so that it doesn't pull sorry, excess off and I've just got it there's a button on this pocket and I can tell through the design of the four to leave that I have it centered because it's over the pocket where I've taped it. Okay. We have a Christmas festival downtown here in Dritter, Louisiana on December 7th, and that's where most of these will be for sale. Do I neutralize that last one? Or not neutralize. Yeah. <coughs> you want to do a couple more designs, and I'll bleach the bottoms of the. Yeah. Ones that I always want to go ahead and neutralize this one real quick. Okay, let it over sit. I forgot a minute. Some people like the really, really light ones. The thing is, whenever you leave bleach on for that long, it can, even after it's deactivated and washed, it can continue to deteriorate the fabric. Yeah, it kind of destroys the fibers if you're not careful. So if you do this at home, I've noticed where some people who used their bleach solution was too strong and then they washed their shirts, they tore up after. So that's... Yeah, that's why we diluted ours a little bit extra today. And I'll post pictures of these. We will... Oh, what time is it? Because I know you get off at 2. Uh, sure. Should I go? 
throw these in the washing machine or are they good? Well, we need to do the rest of them so that they're all in there. 143. Okay. So we got 15 minutes. We got 15 minutes till Candy has to leave for the day to go pick up her kids. And I'll show you this one how it sat a little bit longer. This one's mine. I'll be sporting this one probably tomorrow. I'm going to fold it around where I can see the design to make sure that I don't dip it in here so much that I mess up my design. There's two of these. There's, well, there's another one just like it that Candy just did. And then somewhere around here is another one that's exactly the same as the one that I have on. These are Walmart specials. a minute and do my next one. Gosh, I love how this one's turning out. Can you see that at all? I don't, I've got bleach on my other hand now, so that's really, really that cute. Cool. That's using that stencil. making the prettiest sort of tea rose pink color with the bleaching and that's the crazy thing about these colors is you never really know what color you're going to get in the end I know I had another one Did you get that one there? um oh right there that red oh. Yeah, but that's okay. You can come in. I have a visitor. Um, I'm doing a live video right now. It'll take just a moment. Okay. I have a visitor in the store. Um, so I guess we're going to call it a day. What we're going to do from here, are there any of those? Can you go ahead and, and put the towel over that floor to lay on that pocket and show that one and show that brown one? Pull it off. Yeah, but yeah. And then we'll show y'all what those look like. And then we'll post pictures of these tomorrow after they've been washed and dried and hung up and see how they look. So go ahead and pull this off and tape it on. Yeah, yeah. And just tape it on the wall over there so we can reuse it. Yeah, that one probably needed another coat. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, I'll paint I had it. two coats, so I don't yeah, know. I should have done three probably. Yeah. This one looks like it definitely changed. So, oh yeah, it definitely changed. Cool. Oh, I love it. That one's mine. Faux show. That's really cute. Can y'all see that? That's just. Two coats of bleach over the stencil. It's ready. You left, so don't rush. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, did I apologize that I mean I was up to my elbows in bleach. Whoever my visitor was left. Gosh, this is so pretty. I want to make sure it gets enough on there. Now I just got my non-bleach hand in the bleach. Now the thing about leaving some areas longer than others is you, other than the ombre effect, you get just some totally different colors. I mean, you may have a teal come through or a purple or a yellow come through or a pink and then you leave it a little bit longer and it 
totally changes to a green or a blue. It's crazy how it works. We definitely would need at this point to change out our rinse water too. You want to do another one or you can wait? Um, well, I wanted to try to finish as many as we could today and be done. We're just moving them from the decor table to the bleach table. This one's gonna have some splotches because I just dripped some on it. These are becoming tight quarters in here. <laughs> Bleach inside of my glove. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm not really sure how it's going to work. Yeah, out you'll there. have to be careful with your spray on that one. really really good <laughs> it definitely shows that it does go through <laughs> and this was a thinner shirt too yeah so. gathered one sleeve up and then up underneath the neck on this one. So I'm going to do this top part. I'm not going to leave it in there long because I know it's going to continue to bleach anyway. And I'm going to get it good and saturated. So one whole sleeve all the way up over the collar. And then go to the other side and just get the bottom of that sleeve and go about to the buttons. My bottle's kind of running out. I didn't intend on staying on this long. I hope my dang phone doesn't go dead. I hate 
wait to leave this out all night. I don't know how we can finish enough in time for you to leave. We still got a bunch of shirts left. Yeah. Love this. This went like a lavender kind of a color. Yeah, you might want a big spray bottle if you're doing a bunch. Yeah, if you're doing a bunch, you might. I love these Mr. Bottles, though, from the leftover from the Jane Ardell. But you could use anything that does a fine mist. They, and, you know, I have the Mr. Bottles that Dixie Bell sells some, Paint Pixie sells some, um, that you could use as well. As long as it's a fine mist, you don't want anything that's going to squirt a good stream in there or anything. wanting to try this 100% wool one to see if anything was going to happen at all so I'm going to put it in there and we shall find out so this one is a wool shirt a wool flannel we will see if it works don't you be singing we ain't having no fun you need the, what you need. Nothing. I'm oh, just, just looking. Looks like ain't a thing. Yeah. Here. I'm gonna grab another one. Here's this one. Oh. Is that yours? I don't want to mess it up. Okay, so is it gonna stay like that? Well, it can stay like that, or you can just. What do you think? You want me to do it, or you want to do it? I don't. Well, you've got two more yeah. to do. I mean, I may as well do it. I think I'm just. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let her rip. I love these dark ones to bleach out really white. So I'm going to. Do this one. I'll let it stay in a while. Oh wow, that's pretty. It's already like a bright teal sort of in there with it. This one. I'm gonna do one more. Oh no, this has something on it. I gotta do this one. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. I 
all of this, it went from blue to brown. We're running out of safe space in the basket. Where they're not bleaching each other. I'm going to go on this, over here on this box. I love the bright teals. This is going from like a green teal to a blue teal and then sort of a, a black color. At this point, there's a tremendous amount of bleach in our rinse water as well from doing this so much. So we do need to move a little bit fast, fast as we can. And my gloves full of bleach again. Be ideal to get some of those kitchen gloves that go up to your elbow. Oh yeah, that would be smart. Yeah. <laughs> no germs on us. <laughs> yeah. Well, that one's going to work because that stencil is going to lay down. Uh -oh. Yeah, I would worry about that one a little bit. Push it down on the grass. It doesn't look like the wool is bleaching at all. Plus that one that I was putting words on over there. I guess we could save them three for words and do that tomorrow. Well, that's a really cute stencil too, though. I'm, a, I'm really out of bleach in my spray bottle, so. Okay. I mean, you could fill it back up out of this bleach over here. those back I can't carry the basket. Spray that cheese. Uh, a glove. Well maybe not since this didn't do anything anyways. I can probably do it all with one hand. <laughs> Well, there's a few that's bleached. Go ahead and put them in the washing machine, you think? Uh, or, yeah. Because we can run and throw these in as soon as they get yeah. done. Yeah. Let's do that. And I've got, I'm just going to put that in the bottom since it don't bleach anyways. We've got these other four. So, what we we'll do is say goodbye for today and thank y'all for joining us. If you do some shirts, I would love to see them. And I'll show you pictures of ours when we're done. Thanks. Bye.